Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Pardon my appearance right now. We're going to have our service in uh, four hours. But what I want to share with you right now is the urgent situation we're all in. We are not to fear, but we are to prepare. There are 24-hour stores. Remember that. You can go to these stores and buy at 2 or 3 in the morning so you don't have to stand in line and fight the crowds. And a lot of you have been turning a blind eye. So what I'm asking you to do now is go out, not only buy masks, not only buy alcohol and sanitizers, not only buy toiletries and canned goods, please buy gloves. If you have to keep going to the store over and over, you want to handle everything with gloves so that you do not perpetuate the spread of germs. Before you bring that stuff in your house, douse it with alcohol. That's what I've been doing when I had to go to the store. Every can, every bottle, everything, every plastic covering gets doused with alcohol before I handle it with my bare hands bringing it in my house. Churches, those of you who have building funds, who have all this money stacked up, trying to be prepared for your advancement. Remember your members. Your members are going to be in need and there are going to be many of them who have not prepared or who didn't have the funds to prepare. Some people only get paid once a month. Build up your pantries, churches. Instruct your people. Don't just preach the gospel for them to live safe. Prepare them for the here and now. The word of God prepares us for the here and now. So please utilize the word to prepare your members. What does the Bible say in Ezekiel? If you see danger coming, um, this is a loose paraphrase. If you see danger coming and you warn the people and they don't do anything about it and they die, their blood is on them. But if you don't warn the people and you gloss over everything like it's not really happening and you talk about everything else but what's going on and you don't warn them and prepare them and they die. Their blood is on your hands. Why? You didn't warn them. Here's another thing. Build up your pantries. If you don't have a pantry, build a pantry. Build sheds and build a pan Do whatever you got to do. Load up your basements, your, your fellowship halls, whatever. Take that extra money you have for the building fund and invest in your people's needs. This is the time for you to look after the widows, the orphans, the strangers, the poor. It's time to build up those that have need. Everyone cannot store up like others can. So do what you can to supply your people you don't only equip them spiritually, you equip them practically. Have the food there in your church that they don't have in the stores. That should have been what you've been doing for the last three months. All right, now that I stopped fussing at the churches, now let's start talking about some of you people who have the wherewithal the finances, you're well off. You've got relatives that are hard up. Think of those relatives that don't have what you have, that can't do what you can, and help them out. It might make you feel good. Don't just think about me, myself, and I. Me, my four, and no more. No. Think about those you have the power to help. The Bible says, if you see your brother in need and you shut up your bowels of compassion, how dwelleth the love of God in you? 
You can't say you love. Now, I'm not talking about the freeloaders that are running around talking about my name is Jimmy and I want you to give me because they have had all the time in the world and the money to prepare and chose not to. Buying Gucci bags and fancy boots and belts and all kind of stuff and out there, uh, you know, getting themselves together looking cute instead of investing for this hard time. Uh, you know, that's between you and God, whether you help them or not. But my point is for those you know, have a hard time, don't have the wherewithal. Have you thought of your own family members that may be in need in two or three months, that may be in need now? Because the money didn't come in in time for them to prepare a month or two in advance. They're too busy barely trying to hang on and pay their bills because they are responsible. Everybody doesn't have the extra to do the extra. Those are the ones you have to look after. Please, don't shut up your bowels of compassion when you see a real need, a legitimate need. God bless you. Let's see how much we really love God in this hard time. Because he says, when you do it to the least of these, you do it unto me. But when you don't do it unto the least of these, you have not done it to me. Think about that.